My brother, on behalf of the government and people of Somalia, I would like to welcome you to your second home, Somalia. Indeed, Somalia and Ethiopia share common history, culture, tradition, and most importantly, blood relationship. Your visit today deepens our already strong political and social relations, relationships and I'm committed to take our relations to the next level. Your Excellence, nothing can divide our two brotherly nations. It's our obligation to ensure peace and prosperity of our two great nations through economic integration in order to lead our people to a prosperous future. Please allow me to pay a tribute to the tremendous sacrifices made your military servicemen who serve in AMSOM in the fight against terrorist organizations who pose an existential threat not only to Somalia but also to the region. My government is spread, spread heading progressive reform in the security, economic and social sector which will reinvent the fortunes of our country. Despite the challenges, my government is determined to fully utilize every tangible opportunity to continue to take Somalia forward. There will be no delay. There will be no disruption. Our faith is intricately linked. It's with this in mind that we must continue to collaborate and collectively work to defeat the current scourge of our region, terrorism and insecurity, and usher an era of economic transformation and prosperity for our countries and the wider region. Your Excellence, as we discuss today, my government is committed to develop strong economic cooperation between our two nations. Thus, I call on the implementation of full economic integration between the two countries to create economic growth, promote investment through development and of the infrastructure, including transportation system, highway, energy and trade, among other areas. Your Excellency, there is no country better positioned than, than Ethiopia to benefit from peaceful and stable Somalia. Ethiopia has an advantage not only in terms of shared long border, but also because of favorable long list, including ethnicity, culture, social, economic, security, and political relationships we developed together over the years. There is a need for a visionary leadership in our two countries to harness such strong bonds that already exist for the interest of the people of our two countries. Finally, I would like to welcome you to the fold as the youngest leader of our region. I commend you for the transformative path that you have taken thus far and extend you every support. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Excellency President Mohammed Abdullahi Mohammed, Excellency Prime Minister Hassan Ali Kahir, Members of Parliament, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we're here to celebrate Eid in our second home. And greetings from Ethiopia for the people of Somalia, Eskoroma. One Imade Eid Mubarak. I want to start by expressing 
my appreciation to all of you for the warm welcome and hospitality. I am deeply touched by your reception and I know it's a sign of your friendship and the people of Ethiopia. Thank you for everything you have done since our arrival. Excellency, I am not here to laminate the past but to open a new chapter, a new relationship, a new vision which I want to conquer and work on it in the future. If I go back to history, it is only to learn lesson to address the underlying diverse of violent extremism. Our goal is a comprehensive strategy to promote a regional stability in the Horn of Africa. We must look ahead with a spirit of new leadership and new frontier. I believe Somalis will build a strong and purposeful country. After all, Somali is one of the world's most homogeneous nation states. You share the same language, the same religion, the same culture, and the same ethnicity. You are brothers and sisters, and we Ethiopians stand by you, shoulder to shoulder. The new frontier for our region, I believe, should be closer and full regional integration where minds are open to ideas and markets are open to trade. We don't want to hinder ideas to flow from each corner. We don't want to hinder markets to flow from each corner, which help us for both nations and both people. It's a various, uh, it's a vision of a common trade area where people Ideas, goods, and products move freely across borders. It is a future where we work to enlarge opportunities for our people and work for economic security that give our children and grandchildren great hope. It is a future where we abolish trade barriers. It's a future where we will create a single market in our area, in our region. It's a future where we stimulate more products, more production, innovation, and private enterprise, both here in Mogadishu, also in Ethiopia. The resource of our region and the talent and capacity of our people can provide abundance for all as long as we are prepared to recognize what we have and renounce fully violence and lawlessness. This vision of the region, a diversity of states, each developing all its culture, each solving its challenges according to its own way, but all of us tied together with a shared purpose and respect one another. I am here to tell you such a common project is quite possible. I am here to tell you that we can strengthen and consolidate our partnership. Finally, which I would like to emphasize, in my belief, we need to adopt and implement a border and joint strategy to promote regional stability in the Horn of Africa. While we need to remain vigilant in our counter-terrorism efforts, we will give equal attention to address the underlying diverse of violent extremism in the region. Regional conflict, lack of trade and investment in poverty. In closing, I want to reiterate 
I am delighted to be here. Somalia and Ethiopia have much in common. We do share blood, we do share culture, we do share religion. We also share rich history. The history of the region on occasion have been tragic, but we know from our experience as well as from conviction, success can be achieved. We can march out of the darkness into the sunlight. We will stand side by side, shoulder to shoulder. We can do better and we intend to do so. Wahan Urjainai, Somalia Gul, thank you very much. Joint communicate. Joint communicate issued after bilateral talks between His Excellency Muhammad Abdullah Muhammad Farmajo, President of Federal Republic of Somalia, and His Excellency Dr. Abiy Ahmad Ali, Prime Minister of Federal Republic, Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, on the occasion of the official, official visit to Somalia on 16 of June 2018, Mogadishu. At the invitation of the President of Federal Republic of Somalia, His Excellency Muhammad Abdullah Muhammad Farmajo, the Prime Minister of Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, His Excellency Dr. Abiy Ahmad Ali, accompanied by a high-level delegation, made an official visit to Mogadishu on 16 June 2018. Number one, the two leaders and their delegation held lengthy discussions covering a wide range of matters of mutual interest, including regional and global affairs. During the discussions, the two leaders renewed their commitment to strengthen their brotherly bilateral relations, spanning generations based on shared blood relations, values, history, culture, traditions, and exposed by the principles of good neighborliness, mutual respect, and promotion of mutual interest. The leaders agreed to a renewed engagement to intensify relations based on agreed comprehensive framework which covers, among other things, robust diplomatic relations between Somalia and Ethiopia with the Federal Republic of Somalia and the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia as the primary interlocutors with sovereign authority. To this end, the two leaders welcomed the formation of the previously agreed Joint Cooperation Commission, JCC, at the ministerial level, and it is functioned to promote enhanced diplomatic and trade activities on a reciprocal basis that would involve regular bilateral engagements, exchange of attaches, and a sponsorship of cultural, sports, and educational exchanges. To aid this strengthened relations and strengthened diplomatic and consular presence in each other's countries, the leaders agreed to open reciprocal diplomatic and consular offices in major cities in Somalia and Ethiopia. The leaders also agreed to introduce measures to allow for the free movement of goods and services by introducing permits and expanding specific visas for travel, for educational, sporting, and cultural purposes to facilitate social integ integration between Somalia and Ethiopia. Recognizing the potential for harmonious economic development for both nations, the two leaders bade 
singular focus to economic growth, wealth creation, and the promotion of investment between Somalia and Ethiopia in order to secure a prosperous future for their people, the countries of the Horn of Africa, and ultimately the African continent. In this respect, the two leaders agreed to enhance economic integration of their two nations while reaffirming the importance of economic security and development through utilization of the human and natural resources of the two nations as the most effective means of tackling the current security challenges. The leaders therefore agreed to remove all trade and economic barriers and deepen and widen economic linkages, linkages by first and foremost and the development of critical infrastructure, in particular development of ports and key highways linking the two nations. The leaders further agreed to invest in logistics and service provision, especially to leading ports in the continent that can serve both the Indian Ocean and the Red Sea. In an effort to attract and retain foreign investment to the two countries and the Horn of Africa region, the leaders agreed on the joint investment of four key seaports between two, com two countries and the construction of the main road networks and arteries that would link Somalia to mainline, mainline Ethiopia. The leaders agreed to constitute a designated joint technical team that would immediately embark on key tasks of outlining this substantial undertaking to fully take advantage of the larger market with more opportunities and greater economic, economics of scale. For business, the leaders agreed to encourage and incentivize investments, particularly through the private sector in both countries, in order to create jobs and facilitate full economic integration between the two countries. The two leaders recognized that peace and stability were a prerequisite for the development and prosperity of both countries and therefore emphasize the importance of the continued active cooperation between Somalia and Ethiopia to effectively counter terrorism and deal with cross-border security challenges. The leaders both condemn terrorism in all its forms and manifestations and underscore the need to, act to actively collaborate. The federal government of Somalia paid, paid tribute to the bravery of, and sacrifices of Amazon and recognize the prominent role of the Ethiopian National Defense Forces in this regard, while recognizing the continued commitment by the two contributing countries to Somalia, both leaders reaffirm AMISOM's critical role to Somalia's progress and the, countries, and the country move into the next chapter of security ownership across the country, while appreciating AMISOM's role in the peace and state building efforts in, of Somalia, the leaders expressly stated the need to zealous guard against any risks, both internal and external, to the reversal of the gains achieved in Somalia. Both leaders called upon friendly countries to contribute positively to Somalia's peace and state building efforts. The two leaders unequivocally stated their mutual respect for the sovereignty territorial integrity, political independence, and the unity of both nations, and call upon all Somali actors to relentlessly work towards the unity and cohesiveness of Somalia. On international matters, the two leaders called for an effective multilateral system with a reform and a stronger United Nations. They also agreed to advocate African problems for African solutions alongside the African Union and to foster joint positions on international matters of mutual concern. The Prime Minister of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia paid tribute to the Somalia's leadership for their commitment, determination and courage in overcoming challenges and making considerable progress in implementing a robust reform against a, a robust reform agenda and moving Somalia firmly towards the path of sustainable peace and development. President Muhammad Abdullahi Muhammad Farmajo 
while welcoming Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed on his recent election as Prime Minister of Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, President Formajo commended him for his reform agenda and his vision that is set to positively impact the outlook for this nation and that of the Horn of Africa region as well. President Muhammad Abdullahi Farmajo, on behalf of the government and the people of Somalia, expressed the unreserved appreciation to his brother, Dr. Abi Ahmad Ali, who is on his part thanking the President of the Federal Republic of Somalia and the people of Somalia for the warm, gracious hospitality accorded to him and the members of the delegation during their visit in Somalia. Mukdusho, 16 June. 2018. Thank you.